Hello children. Welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is biology session. We are discussing uh, the lesson excretory products and their elimination. You know very well. The living organisms perform number of activities. During these activities, the activities in sense vital activities like digestion, respiration, reproduction, a variety of during these uh, activities, vital activities, variety of waste products are produced. For example, some of the food we eat is not used by our bodies. The undigested food is a waste product. During respiration, Water and carbon dioxide and heat are produced as byproducts or wastes. Urea is another waste. It comes from the used up proteins. Some of the waste products like urea are very harmful and toxic. So these must not be accumulated within the body. Otherwise, the accumulation of waste produces health problems. So we are very fortunate. Fortunately, each organism has a mechanism of its uh, own to remove the waste products. Okay, children. The process of removal of waste products is called excretion. If you take uh, lower plants and animals, in organisms like amoeba, paramecium, hydra, most of the metabolic wastes are removed through the general surface of the body by a simple process called diffusion. Okay? The specialized organs of excretion are lacking in these uh, primitive unicellular plants and animals how the diffusion takes place so the high concentration of the waste owing to the production of the waste by living protoplasm will uh, leaves the concentration gradient according to the concentration gradient gradient the outward diffusion of dissolved carbon dioxide and waste nitrogenous compounds all over the large surface takes place this is the diffusion means from high concentration to low concentration when the concentration of carbon dioxide increases it uh, leaves the body through the plasma lemma and when the concentration of oxygen decreases the atmospheric oxygen enters into the body this is called uh, diffusion okay there is no special system in amoeba paramecium and hydra and lower animals okay there is no special system so but uh, in this uh, particular video we are going to start how the excretion takes place how the excretory products are produced and their elimination takes place in the group of animals okay, are you ready children let us proceed excretory products and their elimination all plants and animals produce harmful substances due to a number of metabolic activities occurring in their body tissues carbon dioxide produced during respiration it is removed by lungs the ammonia is the chief nitrogenous pro product which is produced as a result of metabolism of proteins and amino acids. The metabolism of proteins and amino acids produce ammonia. This ammonia is highly toxic to the body tissues and is eliminated as, as it is by aquatic animals. While on land animals, the ammonia combines with the carbon dioxide 
to form a less toxic substance called urea which eliminated from the body okay in aquatic organisms ammonia nh3 is removed as it is eliminated as it is whereas in uh, the terrestrial animals land animals this ammonia combines with the carbon dioxide and forms urea okay CO and H2 taken twice it's ammonia it's a uh, urea okay thus the process of excretion can be defined as the elimination of waste products from the body which otherwise are toxic if retained within the system okay the elimination of nitrogenous waste materials from the body is called uh, excretion and the system which uh, helps in the process of excretion it is called uh, excretory system okay children the organs that are involved in this process constitute a uh, together form excretory system so let us um, see the elimination of nitrogenous waste products is a major function of excretory system okay simultaneously the nitrogenous products varies from species to species from animal to animal okay the groups so most of the nitrogenous waste are formed due to the catabolism of proteins breaking down of proteins normally according to the species the proteins are catabolized into ammonia urea or uric acid there are three types of nitrogenous waste materials produced by the living organisms or animals what are they ammonia urea and uric acid it is the excretory system if you take the excretory system it is a unit which performs excretion so this particular excretory system include a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters and a urinary bladder the human excretory system also include this type of excretory system is present most of the terrestrial animals possess kidneys as excretory organs so excretory products and their elimination first uh, let us uh, we are discussing about the nitrogenous waste materials ammonia ammonotelism what is ammonotelism the ammonotelic organisms are those which eliminate their nitrogenous metabolic waste mainly as ammonia okay and the phenomenon is called ammonotelism the phenomenon in which uh, the ammonia is eliminated from the body is called ammonotelism ammonia is constantly produced in the organisms by the deamination of amino acids and is it is very highly toxic if retained in the body so it must be immediately removed from the body as soon as it is formed so elimination of ammonia requires large amounts of water this can be done only in the aquatic forms of life okay that's the reason why in most of the aquatic animals like fishes tadpole larvae so they produce ammonia as their excreted product as they are living in the aquatic medium water okay fish is a good example of ammonotelism in aquatic animals like aquatic invertebrates bony fishes and aquatic amphibians 
it is quickly eliminated ammonia is quickly eliminated in the surrounding water because it is highly soluble in water ureotelism ureotelism is the second uh, the ureotelic organisms are those which eliminate their nitrogenous metabolic waste mainly as urea okay example here the mammal a rat is given urea okay urea is formed in the liver by combining uh, ammonia with carbon dioxide and is uh, comparatively less toxic than ammonia so there is one uh, specific uh, cycle takes place in the terrestrial animals mammals so that is a uh, ornithine cycle it is a special cycle takes place in the liver so the conversion of highly toxic ammonia into urea it is called ornithine cycle okay the synthesis of urea from ammonia requires the expenditure of energy the elimination of urea requires less water compared to ammonia okay the animals are called ureotelic animals and the phenomenon is called as ureotelism 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 urea is the main product of excretion in man and all other mammals some aquatic animals even aquatic mammals like whales and seals and uh, the desert mammals such as camel and kangaroo the terrestrial and semi aquatic amphibians like toads and frogs and cartilaginous fishes such as sharks and stingrays they are all examples of a uh, ureotelism their main excretory product is urea some animals can concentrate the amount of urea present in their urine the man can concentrate urea in the urine more than 100 times its concentration in the blood so earthworms excrete ammonia when sufficient water is present but eliminate urea when the conditions are dry so interesting thing actually earthworms annelids they are amenotelic when the conditions are favorable wet soil conditions but in summer the conditions are dry they convert into ureotelic they excrete uh, urea the tadpoles eliminate nitrogenous waste as ammonia the larvae of frog but when they become adult the frogs mainly eliminate uh, urea okay here earthworm it is amenotelic wet conditions it is ureotelic in dry conditions next uh, uricotelism uricotelic organisms are those which eliminate their nitrogenous metabolic waste mainly as uric acid uric acid is the least toxic nitrogenous waste product it is a less toxic uh, nitrogenous waste product and requires very less amount of water for its elimination most of the desert animals they are uricotelic the animals which live in uh, water logged conditions dry conditions they are urico uricotelic therefore the uric acid is formed only in those animals which have limited supply of water in the cloaca of reptiles and birds reptiles and birds are the very good example of uricotelic animals in the cloaca of reptiles and birds the uric acid accumulates and is further concentrated there it passes out of the body as whitish semi solid substance Okay, that is nothing but a uh, uric acid. 
uric acid is also eliminated by insects in humans and other primate mammals the urine contains a little of uric acid in addition to urea okay so actually during the metabolism of proteins the proteins are converted to amino acids the amino groups the nucleic acids converted into nitrogenous bases and these nitrogenous bases of nucleic acids are also converted to amino groups so these amino groups in fishes the most aquatic animals including many fish this ammonia is converted to ammonia okay the amino acids are converted to ammonia whereas the amino acids in mammals the most of the amphibians sharks some bony fishes it is converted to urea and the same amino acids in birds insects and many reptiles the land snails it is converted to uric acid okay the process in which the amino acids are converted to ammonia it is called aminotelism if the amino acids or the proteins converted to the nitrogenous waste materials called urea then it is called ureotelism if it is converted to uric acids then it is called a uricotelism example for aminotelism fishes tadpole larvae the example for ureotelism amphibians adult amphibians mammals whereas the examples for the ureotelism insects birds and uh, reptiles okay the excretory system consists of organs and tissues participating in the removal of waste products some of these excretory organs it constitutes the urinary system which forms the and eliminates the urine and helps mainly in the excretion of nitrogenous waste products such as okay the nitrogenous waste products means it may be ammonia urea or uric acid and along with that some water and some mineral salts are also eliminated so apart from its uh, this urinary system they have some accessory excretory organs and tissues such as skin lungs and liver they are accessory excretory organs but necessary excretory organs is kidney okay depending upon the habitat in which they live depending upon the metabolism and the production of metabolites the excretory system and the organ involved in it the process of excretion varies from organism to organism okay so here the kidneys excretory system a pair of kidneys ureters and urinary bladder together form the excretory system the mode of excretion varies in different kinds of animals okay children more we are going to discuss read the textbook thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates